I guess first of all, I mean, I want to ask you about the comeback in general. Just to, uh, you pulled Dryden with, I mean, it's like six and a half left. I don't know if that's a record for you, but uh, that is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that one, yeah, I think. I think it is. Uh, yeah, and you know what? Yeah, we hadn't cracked the egg in fifty three and a half minutes. So I wanted to change momentum a little bit and I believe in a group we've got on the bench. And so thought we'd change fortune a little bit, see if we could if we could get one and get the crowd into it and try and go from there. Um you know, this seemed like a game, you know, early on where it might have been a battle of of goaltenders and Driscoll yeah. was the better of the two goal- goalies tonight. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and you know what, though? I want to back my guy because that's – what game are we at? And that's probably the first time, you know, one of the first times. So I think he's been unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, you know, I think he'd he'd want the, the second one back. Yeah, the thing that's great about Dryden, he wants them all back. You know, so uh, that's why he's such a good goaltender. And so, you know, we, we come out, and I didn't think we played a bad first period. We created their offense and turned it over in our zone. Uh, they make a play. They finish. Um, and then they execute on the power play, and they go up two. Um, then we get beat to the net in our end. It gets to three. Uh, the only thing I didn't sense is I didn't sense the guys stop. I didn't, you know, and you want that. And we'd, we'd have some troubles if that ever happened, and and it didn't. So I thought the guys stayed with it, and their goaltender was really good. I thought our second and thirds, you got to be a little bit harder. You, you know, if whatever he's putting up, if you're putting up 45, 50, 55, you still got zip, that's not good enough. And so our guys know that. And so the effort was there. Our execution was off a little bit. But I want to give Driscoll credit because I thought he, uh, he was a – Exceptional tonight. It seemed like, especially, I mean, other than you know the push you guys made at the end, really the push you made after it was two nothing in the second period. That seemed like that was probably the difference in the game, just with the stops that Driscoll made and some of the chances that you guys had, because it seemed like it was um, around their end, you know, most of most of that period. And and even you know you look at the one I I thought the. Uh, when we made the seam pass on the power play and Souter one timed it, and he got over the back door difference maker we don't elevate it enough but it's it's a bang bang play he makes the play he makes a save and so you know i just i kept telling the guys just let's get let's get one um it took us a while to get one um but once we did i thought momentum went into our favor and you know we had we had a pretty good look there with uh, carol ripping down the dot uh, to get us back to even so you know what it's uh this game's beautiful you know, sometimes it hurts, uh, you know, from the negative, and sometimes it's very rewarding on the positive. And we've just got to be better from I just told the guys that, you know, we need to grow from this and not – told them we'll get back to work on Monday, but I don't want them hanging their heads, get out of here. Bemidji's a good hockey team. We lost the game. I mean, we don't like losing home games. We don't. And also it was a chance to really put a lot of separation between you and Bemidji in the standings and – now it's back to six points, and you'll play them again up there at the end of the year. Yeah, they're not going to go away. You know, they're very well coached. I, I think they've got some guys. You look at Brady. You look at Miller. Um, you know, um, Brady has two assists tonight. Cardelli has two goals. They're guys they've been relying upon uh, to be consistent for them offensively, and they were good for him tonight. Oh, you mentioned Andy Carroll. I, I, he was noticeable again tonight, Mike, at times. He had a pretty good weekend, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And... You know, I think you, you guys talked to Andy last night, uh, and he's just done a lot of work. He's humble, goes to work every day. When he's been out of the lineup, he just wants to know what he can do to get back in, and he goes and does it. And I liked his game. He's okay making plays. He made a big play last night. He had opportunities tonight. Um, so I like where he's at. Now we just need him to build off of that. Thanks, Hasty. Thanks.